Welcome to Handy Quilters Watch and Learn. I'm Kim Sandberg and with me today is Christina Whitney. And we have such an exciting topic today, don't we, Christina? We do. I'm so excited. We get to introduce Ruler of the Month Club 8 today. Yes. Yay! What is Ruler of the Month Club though? Well, Ruler of the Month Club is an awesome program that we've actually been doing for a few years now. Once a month, we release a brand new exclusive ruler, only available through the Ruler of the Month Club initially and only available through your local retailer, right, Christina? Correct. Yep. And we have such a fun theme this time. Yeah, so this Don't is we? our eighth ruler of the month club. Right. And like Kim mentioned, it's available through your local retailer if mm -hmm. they're participating. Yes. So if your local retailer is not currently participating, you can find other retailers that are willing to ship the ruler to you. Exactly. So that, that's yep. a good point. Okay, so this, um, I almost said this month, this Club, Collection. six yes. months, theme is Boundless Borders. Yay. So this group was designed by mm -hmm. the studio educators here at Handy Quilter yep. to be able to fill in the borders. Yes. So if you look behind me, we did a sample with all of the different rulers that we're going to be using. It's so cute. And it's just a basic strip quilt. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a watch and learn yeah. teaching you how to make the strip quilt. So we're going to challenge you guys yes. to make a strip quilt and use these rulers and send them on social media yeah, so we, that we can see them as well. Yeah, we want to see what you're doing. And using the strip quilt is such a great way to practice for borders, isn't it, Christina? It is. And it's so quick and easy. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it, it gives you that opportunity to practice. Yeah. So you don't want to use a brand new ruler that you're not comfortable with right. on a, a really in important, bald, quilt. important <laughs> quilt that you've spent a lot of time and money on. Exactly. You want to get familiar with those rulers so that you know how to use them properly. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with um, making a strip quilt, um, Kelly and I actually did a watch and learn video. Oh, it's been maybe a month and a half ago. Yeah. It was called Speed Quilting. You can check that out, watch and learn called Speed Quilting. And we show you how to do a strip quilt on your long arm from start to finish. Yeah. Really and fast and easy. Yeah, and if you're doing it on the long arm, like they show in the video, mm -hmm. every single piece that you put down, you can practice a border in it. Exactly. And then do your next piece. Or you could strip piece the full and full quilt right. and then go back and fill in those spaces. Exactly. So lots of options out there. Yep. Um, while we're talking about videos, though, I yeah. want to mention another video that you might find very useful. Right. Um, it's one of our watch and learns. It's mm -hmm. called Four Tips for Using Rulers in borders. Right. And that one talks about like how can I fit these rulers in the space of the border? Because exactly. it's not always going to work out exactly perfectly. The math. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's real life. So. And we have some really great tips that don't involve math in that video, don't we? <laughs> yes. Because if you've watched a lot of our videos, you know we're not really good uh, at math on no. camera. <laughs> no, not so much. So all right, well, let's, uh, let's dive into these rulers and let's show them what is coming up. Okay, let's over start the next six months with the first ruler. Okay. It's called our On Point template. Oh, so cool. It is a square shape mm -hmm. and um, it's got different grid marks. And we're going to go into a lot more detail on this in future videos. Right. right. So that is our On Point, and uh -huh. this one comes out in March. Right. Um, check again with your local retailer to see what schedule they're using. Right. Okay, let's see our next one for April. And do you have any designs you want to show us that go with that one? Oh, yes, I, I do. Say the on point okay. ruler. I happen to know you've got a cute border in that strip quilt there. Let's see. Um, I'll tell you when I made this, I just used up the scrap strips that I had. Right. I didn't make the widths of the strips perfect to what I wanted to use the right. rulers for. So I had to kind of make things work. Be so creative. this one, I used a partial ah. of the ruler. I didn't use that full square. I really and like it that. it gives it a different look. Yeah. Um, let's see where else our square is used. Oops. Oh, right here. This is all oh. used with the on point template. That is really so cool. It's like there. inside it's, it's like a, almost looks like a braid. Yeah. The car. Cool. Oh, called. right. Right. Yeah. I love and that. I I think there might be one more, maybe not. Did you do the little oh, chevron with it? This yeah. chevron right here. Yep. Again, oh, I only used part of it. A part. Whoa, those are some great ideas. Great ideas for that ruler. Awesome. All right, so what's the next one? The next one 
is our Swiss template. The Swiss template, I love that. Did I say Swiss? I think you did. I think I did. It's Swiss. Swish. Like, like, like a basketball <laughs> going into the net, Swish. <laughs> Not when I'm shooting it though, but maybe when my kids are. It's just a really fun curve, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so let's show you again on mm -hmm. this quilt. And let's see. We have got a couple rulers that are very similar. I believe this one I used the swish. Oh, cool. And here. And there should be one more. It's, it's like. It's like a, 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 oh, what is the word? <laughs> Scavenger hunt. Yeah, like where's Waldo? Or, yeah. Is it in that green one there? Yes. Yes. I like that one. That's really fun. That's one you could do some fun fills around too. Yeah, and, and again, we're going to have other mini videos. Do you right. want to go ahead and tell right. them about our yeah. future videos? Yeah, so we're going to start a new segment that will be on the first Tuesday of every month in the Watch and Learn, and Christina will go through all the great tips and tricks of using the ruler that's being released that month. So be sure and watch for that. Actually, the first one will be next week and she'll be giving more ideas for the on point ruler, right? Correct. Yep. Yep. Okay, the third one in the series is called our concave curves template. Mm. It has three different curves or arcs and mm. a straight line. So, so useful. Multi-purpose. Yeah. And let's see, this one was used on this first section here, and it was used on this section here. This one I actually used two of the arcs. Oh, well, that's cool. To give it that different length rather I than making that. it square. That's that's really cool. Using so using two different sides of the ruler to create that design. It looks Correct. awesome. Yep, and I think that's it for that ruler on okay. there. And we'll have more more details about that when we do the video just on yeah. that ruler. This is just the teaser to yes. get you interested. Yes. Because <laughs> these are so fun. I really like they it. They are. Okay, this is one of my favorite rulers. I know that every ruler that's in my hand at that time is one of my favorite rulers, yeah. but I really like this one. It is called our cable template. Oh, I love it. And it has numbers. This one's a little bit trickier to use, so definitely watch the video on this one. Right. But look how it turns out. Oh. Look at here in this pink. That is such that cable a cool. Fill. I love that. And we've got it. I think you have it over right there in here another. as well. Oh yeah. And then in another one of the pink strips. And yeah. right here. And each one of those is stitched out differently for a different look. Cool. So there are multiple uses for this ruler. That's awesome. Such okay. A fun ruler. So next, what's the next one, one is our diamond template. Oh. So this one is similar to the on point. Mm -hmm. But it's more diamond shaped, right? Yes. And whereas the on point is a little more square. This the, one's more yep. of a diamond. Yep, the on point is mm -hmm. square, but they have similar grid marks. Oh, okay. And they have the same slit in them to get it onto your, right. um, around your foot. They're the inside. So, yeah. So anything that you do with the on point, you could do with this with a different look. Right. So I could have done the chevron. Oh, right. But instead of it being 90 degree, it would have been, oh no, not math. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Whatever degree, degree is. that is. <laughs> <laughs> so it just gives it a different look. Oh, um, that's great. I, I have the diamond here. Oh, and then you and put the little heart in there. Yes, we just added a little fill to make it fun. I really like that. Um, I really like this one. That's so, so fun. So this is, again, our diamond shape. Yeah. And just placing it randomly, mm -hmm. and, but going from point to point so that I don't have to break my thread. That one looks like a tumbling block. It's a really fun, that yeah. is a fun design. I really yeah. like that. Uh, we've got one more here in the purple. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, the diamond, but instead oh. of point to point, they kind of overlap so you get this secondary diamond in the middle there. That's very cool, yep. very cool. Oh, such a fun design for a border. Okay, this next one is our pointed arc template. This is a fun ruler. <laughs> Kim says that because she designed this one. I did. It is a fun <laughs> ruler though. So we, we like this one. Okay, let's find the places on here that I used this one. I know in that purple one right there. Yes, if you look at the purple one, it goes up and then back down. It does not look anything like no. how you would just stitch this out. So again, watch our future videos and I'll show you how to do that one. Yeah, that's such a fun design. Yep. Uh, we used it, oh, 
all the way over here in this last pink um, strip here. Mm -hmm. Again, that's the shape, and then we fun. flip it over and get the other side. On both sides, that's really fun. Yep. Oh. So but. those are our six rulers for Ruler of the Month Club 8. Right. Boundless Borders. Yeah. Starting in March at your local retailer. Right. But is there get a the little something extra that comes with it at <gasps> the end? There is. Kim, can you show them the yeah. little extra? Because I don't have one here. So we actually have this cute bag that all the rulers fit in. We actually have a, a collection of all the rulers oh. right now in here. And on the back side, it's got this neat little pocket. And we have a fun... There's a bobbin in there. Sorry, the bobbin doesn't come with it. But Sorry, I was sewing. <laughs> But this does. It's a little retractable measuring tape, and it's really nice because it's got centimeters on one side and inches on the other. And it's it's one of the fun ones. You hit the little button and it. And pops the best up. part, it has handy quilter on it. It says handy quilter, and it's green to go with it. And we, I just love that this little pocket is perfect. Help you keep track of it. So at the end of the ruler of the month club, you participate for the full six months. You get this added bonus. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about ruler safety. Let's do, because that's always important when we use rulers. So Christina, there's really three important things about rulers, right? Yes. So with rulers, I want to say three pieces of equipment that you want right. to have. Right, right. So the first one is our ruler base. Right. So this actually goes underneath the fabric onto the um, machine and it snaps into place but it extends the table out. Right. And so you have that extra stability when you're using your rulers. Perfect. Um, I do want to mention that the ruler bases are machine specific. So if you have the Amara or the Forte, that one is interchangeable. But all other machines, you need to make sure you get the ruler base that is specifically for that machine. Okay, so ruler base, must have. The other thing, I can't show you, it's on here. Let's, let's just pull the machine over here and see if we can get that where we can see. Right here, we have what we call our sure foot. Right. Or as Kim likes to call it, the insurance foot. <laughs> okay. The sure foot has a higher profile, so it's taller, right. and that's going to help prevent the ruler from hopping up over and getting caught in between your foot and your needle and mm -hmm. causing some damage. Right. So the sure foot is a fabulous tool that I recommend everybody has if yes. they're going to be doing ruler work. Exactly. Okay, let's move that back out of the way. Um, the third thing that we're going to talk about is our handy grip. Right. This is a kind of like a sticky sandpaper mm -hmm. and you just cut off little tiny pieces and here's a strip that what it looks like and you just cut off what you need, peel off the back and stick it onto the ruler um, wherever your hand is going to be pushing on the ruler so you can help hold it in place because that gritty part sticks to the fabric and holds it in place. Right, right. Um, I will say this one is one that's um, personal preference. Right. Sometimes you'll be quilting with a ruler and you don't want the ruler to stay there. You want to be able to easily maneuver it. Mm -hmm. Say um, you're stitching the ditch and you're just kind of following along right. and using that ruler um, for placement. Right. Um, or if you're doing something where you actually need to travel that ruler. Exactly. So again, personal preference. Um, and we'll teach you some more tips and tricks with handy grip in our future videos. Exactly, exactly. Hey, so that's our safety. Yeah, just our reminders. Yep. I think that pretty much covers everything. We, once again, we are so excited about the new Ruler of the Month Club. We hope that you contact your local retailer and find out about joining this great program, taking advantage of the great deal that's available through the Ruler of the Month Pro, ruler of the Month Club program and most of all we hope that you do some awesome quilting and share pictures of it on social media. We'd love to see what you do. Um, is there anything else we needed to be sure and add here? If you have questions put comments right. in there. We love to answer yeah. your questions. Absolutely. Um, yeah. We love your, your positive feedback. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, definitely uh, post on social media. Yep. You can use hashtag HandyQuilter. We'll put some other hashtags on that you can use. Yeah. And we're excited to see what you can come up with. 
Yep. Um, not even just with the strip quilts, any design yep. that you come up with with these rulers would with be fabulous. These rulers. Yep, we're really excited to see what boundless borders everyone else comes up with. Well, thanks for joining us today. We want to encourage you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And join us next week for another great Watch and Learn. And be sure to have fun quilting this week.